Hello guys and welcome to this new video. In this video we will be seeing how you can actually create your own custom posts based on your experience and the customer that you're targeting. So as you can see and I'm showing on the screen, uh, this is my post that was, was generated 100% by AI and also using N8N. So if I go very quickly, uh, so I'm basically consulted in PLM and uh, as you can see um, it created a hook. Uh, so how actually, what is the problem? So there are a lot of items in PLM, your team wastes hours scrolling. So I can actually touch the pane. The gap is simple, traditional search. So we're talking about the search and how I can help with the rag, basically. And at the end, I'm actually opening up a kind of discussion with the customer so I can have some feedback. So that's actually was done using prompting. That's a very important thing. So let's go to NHN and uh, let's run this for something else, for example, for another subject. And we will go through all the flow and I'll be explaining step by step what I have done and how I have accomplished it, okay? So, uh, first of all, uh, I'm using a form, but here you can actually use anything that you would like to use. You can use, for example, Telegram or Slack or whatever trigger out there. Um, as an entry, I'm using a blog. So it's based actually on an information uh, that I'm giving the, my AI agent that information. So in my case, it was RAG. Uh, so let's test it again, maybe with RAG, or maybe I can use uh, the AI agent uh, used actually by um, OpenAI. So the AI agent builder and um, I will see what would be the result uh, for that okay so builder open AI blog for example here I can see for example uh, an open AI introduction blog that I can use so I just take it here I will go to my anytime flow and what I will do is I will unpin because otherwise it will not work and I will execute this and I will launch it okay so we can have a live demo and we can see how it works so I'll be explaining what it does in details so here, actually in this node, it's a fire crawl node, uh, which uh, allow you to actually uh, get the, all the information that you have here uh, in the blog in a markdown format, okay? So uh, then it will go actually to our AI agent and our AI agent, I'm giving it uh, three, uh, as you can see, I'm giving it one tool, which is the perplexity tool, which actually allows it to kind of search on the internet if it needs to, okay? Uh, so let's check the prompt actually. So I'm giving it actually two steps. So I'm saying if you find that you need more information, you can use the perplexity tool and I'm giving it also the topic. So the topic, as you can see, is the markdown of the blog. Uh, so there are two steps. Uh, the second step is summarize the result. So I'm actually uh, summarizing the result. I'll be explaining why. And here I'm creating an image prompt that I'll be using later on to create my image based on the subject. Okay. So I get the summary uh, with all the information that I need and I'm getting the AI agent as an output. Uh, an AI image prompt, sorry, as an output. So uh, why I chose actually to use two AI agents here. Uh, I'm using two AI agents because uh, in this one, I'm using uh, OpenAI uh, ChatGPT uh, 5 Nano, which is the cheapest model for this kind of a task, which is just summarizing. And I'm using another model because um, actually I want to separate between the two, which are summarizing the blog and getting all the content that is needed. And later on, um, uh, getting that summarize summarization in using another model, which is Anthropic model. Uh, which is Sonnet 4.5 that you can see here. And this one is better at creating um, text, generating text and generating posts. So um, basically I'm also giving it an output. So as you can see the image uh, prompt and the summary and when it gets, it gets here, um, I'm using the AI agent and this is very important guys. This is the prompt that it's very important. And it, this, this is how you can actually customize and uh, build that prompt for your custom clients, okay? So actually what I have done is I given it my background. So what I know, uh, what I have done in my experiences and what I have um, used to do. So I will tell you how, I will tell you a hack actually to kind of get this information and pass it here, okay? And by the way, the prompt that I'm using here, I'll be sharing it in my community if you want. It will be also variableized. So you can actually put whatever actually content that um, that is needed or for example, your experience, you can put your experience, you can put your target audience here, etc. I'll be... Uh, given that in the community so uh, manufacturing exclusive okay so that's my target audience audience or my ecp uh, and the topic that i'm writing about so it's the summarization uh, of what, what i got from um, uh, from the blog so i'm giving it also some rules uh, based on the style so uh, and what i'm trying to do great so this is it i would say and yeah so as as uh, structured uh, json that i'm giving so i'm telling him okay do all those tasks but give me back the customized post text that I'll be using later on, okay? So here, what I'm doing is also very important and it's a hack. Uh, I'm using actually a picture uh, of a design that will allow me to give it to OpenAI um, image generation, which is the model that is called GPT 
a hyphen image hyphen one so i'm giving it as an input this image that represent my brand id so it actually take it as um i would say a base and create an image that is kind of similar based on the prompt that i'm giving okay so let's see what ha it has actually created for us great so you can see actually the colors can be kind of different uh, i would say the colors can be different but also um it, it actually takes whatever it got in the input uh, otherwise uh, it will give you something very plain in a kind of ai plot kind of stuff so I, this this is the the hack that you you should use guys so great so as you can see agent kit platform agent builder connector registry chat kit so this is actually what uh, um, open ai builder does uh, it has connector registry and it has also a chat kit uh, you have a manual or orchestration also and visible agent orchestration oh this is great guys this is a good picture for example this is a picture that you can use great so we upload actually the file and then we add actually this um to uh, to uh... great so we have actually saved uh, the file uh, the image in uh, google drive there's also something that i have to explain here actually i'm creating uh, it's a javascript kind of uh, writing to just create an id that is a random id so i don't have to actually um uh, erase uh, the photo that i had before okay so then what we will do is we will use a google sheet and we will add or append a um, a line of the sheet okay so there are actually uh five columns post underscore text image underscore id and image underscore url this image underscore id is very important because we're getting it from the drive and this way actually we could get it we could get our image later on in the second flow which is the flow uh, that allows me to publish um, my um, post to LinkedIn okay uh, so the post text image underscore URL published I will say uh, no instead of uh, false so in the confirmation I would say no also because we didn't confirm so this is it so we can actually run it again and you can see that it will be added in my Google sheet let me show you the Google sheet so in the Google sheet you will have your post uh, text that you will be actually able to change if you like so i actually advise you to read it uh, and to be sure that there is nothing that doesn't actually correspond to your uh, to your brand or what you're trying to do so for me it's okay so just for the sake of the demo i will not read it and i will be directly posting here you have your id of the image that we'll be using here you have the image url if you want to check it out you can see it this way and here you have Publish to know and confirmation to know. Okay, so how you do it when you have actually finished, you just uh, write yes. So, so now that we have finished with the flow number one, uh, we will be launching the flow that allows us um, to share this into LinkedIn. As you can see, I'm getting all the rows. So let's launch this and let's see how it goes. Okay, and then I'll be explaining uh, how it works. Great. So now, as you can see here, uh, it has been published. I'll be going to my LinkedIn and I'll be checking my LinkedIn account. And you'll be seeing that the post has been published. Take some time sometimes. You can see it here. Okay. So as you can see, uh, the post is here and everything looks good. What I will do is I will probably erase it because not that relevant and we didn't actually uh, go through what has been done so great so now let's go step by step and let's actually explain what i do in the second flow. so basically this is the get rows in a sheet so i'm getting all the sheets uh, all the rows from my sheet which is this one and then what i'm doing is i'm using an if node that actually allows me to check the row which is uh the confirmation row in the publish row so uh, if it's a yes and, and no then i'll be publishing this and when this rule actually is it's it's not uh, it's a false rule so if for example um my confirmation is no uh, and this is in, into no uh, it will not publish so that's why i have two items that are going to the false um uh, i would say line so in the true line when it actually uh, it is the the correct uh, if statement it will go to uh, the apis which are the linkedin apis that allows me to publish to linkedin this APIs and the way to connect to LinkedIn, um, I've actually explained it in my YouTube video in the last one. You can check it out. Uh, it, so you can get actually your token to publish to your LinkedIn account. Uh, because actually with the LinkedIn uh, that you have in NHN, um, it's not it's not working. 
uh, there is a bug and I hope they will fix it soon. And you can all, only actually share with your organization page uh, with that node. So all of those nodes are LinkedIn related. So I don't think it's kind of uh, important to go through them. But here, what it does, you get actually your user info, which is your ID, that LinkedIn ID, and then you initialize and upload, which is a document upload. And here you have the download file, which is um, your drive uh, to get actually back um, the image that you have downloaded. So that's why we are using, again, the ID um, of uh, the image that we have actually put in here in the sheet. Great, and here you upload the image and then you create the post using the API from LinkedIn. And then at the end, you actually update the row so you don't have to create, uh, to actually post again uh, this uh, this post. So you move publish to yes. I hope you like the video and you find it pretty insightful. I'm trying to give as much value as I can and also help you to build this kind of stuff yourself. If you're interested in this template, I'll be sharing it in my school community and it will be very easy for you to import it. And also, if you are interested in AI and accelerating your own business using AI, you can join the community. That's what the community is for. I just also released a new class, which is a master class uh, that allows you to actually build with innate and but also vibe code and have a first kind of experience with vibe coding without knowing how to code. So if you're interested, you can join. Normally, the price will go up at each 10 members. So see you there and see you in the next one. Have a good night.